Hello and welcome to Ford Cameras tutorial videos. Today I'm going to talk about the Nikon EM. This camera was produced in 1979. It is an amazing camera, Japanese camera. It has a pancake lens, meaning it's a nice small lens. It's a 50 millimeter lens made by Nikon. And it also is really cool because Nikon camera lenses have the same exact mount as the new DSLR lenses. So if you want to use an old Nikon lens manually on a new Nikon camera, you can do so. It's called an F mount. Let's learn a little bit about this camera. It's called EM because it's an electrical camera. It has aperture priority mode on it, meaning you set the aperture for different lighting settings. Um, you set this dial here to take a photo to automatic. So you move your finger across this dial to automatic and it sets it to automatic or aperture priority mode. What that means is there's a little computer inside this camera. And when you change the size of the aperture, which is the inside the lens, it makes it small or large. It allows a little bit of light or a lot of bit of light. Um, and depending upon your lighting situation, you would change this aperture, right? So the larger numbers over here are actually smaller aperture. So let's just say it's really, really sunny outside. You would set the number to 22, which is the biggest aperture on this camera. If it's somewhat sunny, 16. If it's, sh if it's shady outside, 8. So on and so forth. The more light you want into the camera, the smaller the aperture. Once you set that, the camera will set a shutter speed automatically, meaning how fast the camera opens and closes to produce the proper exposure. Really interesting. For those of you who are starting for photography and want to buy an SLR camera, meaning a single re lens reflex camera, this might be the camera for you. It really helps you with your photography. Now that we spoke about that, let's talk about how the lens comes off. Well, let me rotate the camera to the front, and when I do so, there's a little button over here. To take the lens off, either clean the inside of the camera or put another lens on, we press down this black button on the right hand side of the front of the camera. So I press down that button, and then I turn the lens clockwise, like so, and it comes right off. See? The inside of the camera has a little mirror, which allows you to see directly through the lens. That's why this is called a single reflex camera, single lens reflex camera. Now, in order to put a lens back on, I find the little black dot on the front of the lens and I align it with the white dot on the front of the camera, like so. So I align it and then I move the lens counterclockwise and it attaches once it clicks. So now it clicked in. Let's talk a little bit about the settings. So beyond it being an automatic camera or aperture priority mode camera, you could adjust it for flash. So when I move this knob forward counterclockwise to M90 with my finger, M90, that means when I put a flash unit on the top, it will sync, so you could use flash. When I rotate this to B, or bulb mode, what that does is, if I want to take very long exposure, say you want to take some photos at nighttime, where you might need the camera to be opened over a second, well, I would turn it to bulb, and that will help you do that. This button over here tells you whether or not the batteries are good. So when I press down on the button, the light should turn on. If the light turns on as it did, that means that the batteries are still good. Another feature of this camera on the top is this area over here. There are little numbers over here from 25 to 1000. And depending upon what type of 35 millimeter film, whatever speed it is, it will say it on the front of the film. For instance, this one is 400 ASA film or ISO. That tells you the speed. You would set this knob, you would set to that number. So for instance, this is 400 speed film. I would move this to 400. And that tells the onboard computer 
to expose the film properly based on the film speed. So as the speed gets lower, say for instance 100 as opposed to 400, it would be a slower speed film, meaning you would need to have a lot of light to take a photo. But the grain of the film is reduced. The higher the number, the more light the film could take in a shorter period of time and expose your photo properly. And in that case, you could take faster photos in darker situations. 400 is suggested because it really helps you take photos in a lot of different situations, inside, outside, with flash, so on and so forth. So for those of you starting, I suggest 400 ASA speed film. This camera takes black and white or color film. Now, let's take a look at how we open the back in order to put film inside to take photos. So I do so with this knob over here on the top. See this? I pull this up, and when I pull it up all the way, the back opens up like so. When that happens, I move the back like that, and I notice that there are two areas. The left area is empty. That's where your film canister will go. That's where your film canister will go. The right side is where the end of the film will go. So in order to put the film inside, I have to flip it upside down, put it on the left side, make sure the film goes across the back, and then I push this down so it fits nice and neatly inside the camera. After that's done, I would take this end, pull it nice and neatly and tightly across the back, and insert this extra tab of film into the little area over here on the right-hand side which is a little hard to see, but now you can see it. Okay, I'm not going to expose this film or use it because I'd like to use it another day, so I'm gonna take it outside. Once you have your film all ready and prepared, you would press this knob back down, close the back of the camera, and on the top, on the right-hand most side, there's a little area here, and it will say S. It's a little difficult to see, on film, but it says S. So in order to start your roll, you would take your thumb, move this lever, the film advance lever, forward, shoot, 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 until the little arrow aligns with the number one over there. That means you're ready to start taking photos with this camera. Now, in order to take photos, remember there are these three different modes. In order to take photos with automatic, I need to move this knob down and clicks until it says automatic. When it says automatic, it means it's aperture priority. So when you're taking a photo, you're gonna change the aperture on the top over here where the lens is. And depending upon the size of the aperture, the camera will do all the rest of the work. So not fully automatic, it's called aperture priority mode. That was make th that's what makes this camera very special and unique. If you wanna use a flash unit, I would move this to M90 and then take a photo. If you wanna take nighttime photos, you would move this to bulb for longer exposure. And in that case, for longer exposure, I would pull this lever back to advance the film and then I would hold down the shutter button for as long as I want to take the photo. And then once I am done taking the photo, I remove my finger and it will finish taking the photo. Now let's just say you would like to attach the camera to a tripod. The bottom of the camera has a tripod mount for those of you who are interested. Let's just say you would like to be able to take photos of you with your friends and Put the camera on a tripod. Well, you hook it to the tripod here, and on the front, there's this timing mechanism. You would pull the down, down the timing neck mechanism to give yourself some time to get into the frame of the photo. You would move this back all the way until it clicks. Put the camera on the tripod, press the button down, and you'll hear it starts timing so you have enough time to get inside the frame with your friends and family. Once you hear a click, it takes your photo. The other button on the front is a light meter button. So if you don't wanna take a photo but like to press down to see 
how fast the camera is going to take your photo, you press this button. On the inside, it actually has a little light meter that automatically sets how fast the camera is going to take your photo based upon how small or large your aperture is based on what you set. So again, this is a very user-friendly SLR camera. SLR cameras means that when you look through the viewfinder, you actually see exactly what's going through the lens, unlike a lot of other types of cameras. That's what makes SLR very special. For those of you who are beginners in film photography, I highly recommend the Nikon EM because it will make your life easier and it's very professional. For more information, please check out our website, www.forwardcameras.com. If you're interested, come check out our Etsy store, Forward Cameras. Join us on Twitter at Cameras Forward or check out our Flickr at Ford Cameras. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.